The bear market decline earlier this year was unique in its catalyst, the global pandemic, and speed. It was the fastest 30% drop ever. But bear markets themselves are not abnormal. And the good news for investors is that every prior bear market in history has been followed by a recovery and a new bull market, a streak we don't expect to be broken this time. Here now to help us uh, invest through the troubles, through the recessions and the recoveries. Craig Schwegman, we appreciate it. Um, can be a crazy time uh, if you're watching the markets. Downturns, never pleasant. Uh, what can we learn uh, you know, from history uh, if we use it as a guide? Well, well, you know, great question, Sean. You know, market declines have been temporary. Staying fo invested can help you keep them that way. While it would be ideal to avoid market declines altogether, the reality is that they can't be predicted or timed with exact precision. By selling your investments after they've declined in hopes of avoiding further downside, you're raising the possibility of turning short-term declines into real losses in your portfolio. Bear markets often include strong rallies that emerge without warning. Yeah, we've, we've heard it over and over again. You don't really lose money until you sell That's low, right. right? That's right. That's right, Sean. All right. And point well taken there, Craig, uh, what you said. Market declines, you know, temporary um, up till now. But uh, what about the lows of the market? Any lessons to be learned there? Well, the, the stock market lows don't have to be your lows. Uh, we believe diversification is a critical element of a long-term investment strategy. From February 19th to March 23rd of this year, the S&P 500 declined 35% as the spreading pandemic sent the U.S. and global economies into recession. While the stock market was down 35% during the February through March sell-off, a portfolio of 65% equity, 35% bonds, was down noticeably less, about 25%. All right, uh, so the market downturns don't, don't have to derail um, our financial goals, but you know, they obviously are a hurdle. They can make it tougher. Uh, you know, what kind of lessons uh, can serve as a guide you know, for those of us trying to navigate our way through that maybe really don't know a lot about all this? Well, well, Sean, so here's my last lesson for today. Bull markets last longer than bears, meaning time is on your side. Recessions and accompanying bear markets are painful, but history shows they are shorter than you may think, and importantly, they have been outweighed in duration and magnitude by their bull market counterparts. Since 1950, average bear market declines in stocks lasted 18 months, while the average bull market expansion lasted an average of 54 months, with an average total return of 150 52%. This highlights the importance of staying invested and making disciplined, appropriate adjustments throughout the downturns to help put you in a position to best participate in the upside as the transition to a new bull market occurs. Plenty of reason to be optimistic, right? That's right, Sean. All right, Craig Schwegman talking about investing through recessions and recoveries. We appreciate it. We'll talk real soon. Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us. Jet 24 Action News continues.